Oh, is it? Yeah, I've played it. How is it? Um, not that great. No. Well, I don't know. I think it just wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say it's not that great. I just don't think it was for me. Can you share it live stream on Facebook? I think Paragon has a lot of cool elements and mechanics and twist ups to the MOBA genre, but it just wasn't fun when I was playing it. Yeah, fair enough. I was just surprised because they made such a big deal. So, could you move the mouse maybe? Just like the oh, the HUD isn't on there. Just move it onto the left screen. We first met along the straight to Grand Valley. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Travis Snail. I'm Dylan Moss. I'm Taylor Field. Yes, we're well. We're on time. It's right at five. We are here for that. PC, what the fuck? This is not PlayStation PC. 4, Sony, PlayStation, watch along conference, whatever. It's been a long We're day. aware this isn't the pre- press conference, but the pre show instead, but we're deciding to cover it anyway. Yeah, it's, I think there's gonna be some good stuff. People said information. Obviously, this is gonna be GT. You'll probably see some of us eating a little bit. We're starving, so I hate eating on podcasts. I've never actually done it, I don't think, but you know, we're in an exception for right now. So, get in the group chat or get in the live chat. Let us know what you're thinking. What are you hyped most about for E3? Let's well, what have you been hyped so far about, and then what are you hyped about for Sony? Start from scratch. Exactly. Because I think it's the main event. I'll say that now, I'll say it again. Personally, I'm excited to see a, lot, a bunch of the games that we saw at the last year's conference and see, kind of, I want to know when they're coming out, right? I don't know, we'll get the and I want to see some new stuff. I think we'll get dates for God of War, and I think we will get... Days Gone? Days Gone, yeah. Those are the two. This is a chance to get better, stronger, faster. Because we don't want just another game. We want sport. We want sport. And I'm going to do live stream right now, people. I'll be on it all night, trying my best, because, you know... What are you going to be on? Oh, with the Twitch chat. Huh. Making sure it's all good to go, so... Street Fighter. Water. I'll be working my very game damn this all Horizon. night. Horizon. Some other game I don't know. Bugs Life, Pirates of the Caribbean, Transformers, Bugs Life. Spider-Man. Oh, Spider Man! Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Day's gone. That was 100% correct. Oh, uh, L.A. Noir, Absolver, uh, Prey, Gran Turismo, Prey, S- some sport, Street Fighter. For anyone who's not watching, I'm just breaking it down big time. Mm <laughs> hmm. But half of those were accurate. Oh, okay, so this is a showcase, so. That's what they're calling it. You wanna turn it up a wee bit? It's turned up fully, yeah. Okay, there. What? I turned it up fully, like, on the Twitch thing, so. Touching the game, keep it PlayStation powerhouse himself, Ryan Clements. Citizen Ryan Clements! I don't know who that is. Absolutely. And, uh, He's of course, the talented Valley. and exceptional Meredith Molinari. Ooh, Meredith Molinari. <laughs> and we've got uh, Malik Forte, a new face. Yes, Hello. yes. Uh, Shouts out to the fighting game community. Whoa. The Overwatch community. Malik's a little loud. What? He's, happy to have you. <laughs> what? Hey, He's a Travis Snail, the though. PlayStation show. Travis Snail. Uh, members of the press are here. They're checking are they out. Are you doing Taylor? I was posting the uh, live stream watch along to Facebook. Ryan, so we're good that? there. It's just incredible. I mean, Thank right you, now, sir. We're surrounded by people. Here, so it's something great for everyone. Taylor, I think we're getting into Horizon Dawn. I mean, there's just so much. Are we getting that? I saw the trailer last year, you know. For what? Horizon Dawn. Good for you, mom. Did you actually see it there? I don't know. Ryan Clements. Polyphony. So Gran Turismo, we talked about a lot. Great, but you know. They're going to wheel another Porsche uh, on the yeah, stage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sony's not about yeah, They'll go Ferrari. They're going to turn it on this time. It's been incredible. I mean, GT Sport is just going to kind of continue. Sony will have to do Toyota Corolla. Toyota's really one of the greatest game lineups I think I've seen. I agree. Whether you're, yeah, I mean, it started with the bang with Resident Evil 7, PlayStation VR, we had Horizon Zero Dawn, we had Persona 5, Prey, which I this personally is... loved. Any, uh, oh, any, just any this year, yeah, for you for the year so far? Uh, well, Sid, I have to say that uh, since the month of February, Turn his mic I've down, been people. contemplating wearing a red wig <laughs> out in public uh, to <laughs> late the savior of all mother herself, Baylor. <laughs> My friends, oh, I call okay. Baylor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, Horizon Zero Dawn, it was the most graphically Baylor. beautiful game I've ever seen on the console. Uh, I thought it was the most polished open world action adventure Get that fly, Taylor. Foot, 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 foot. Your foot, get it. Foot, yeah, foot. Where? Foot, right there. Evil was 
foot. No foot. Exactly I'm not gonna squish it with my foot. That's gross. Why is that gross? Then then you, you step in shit all day. Not that I can see. So. <laughs> exactly. Oh, she's hyped. Points, which I totally enjoy. Yeah, and Ryan, I know you love Near Automata. I don't need to hear you talk about it yet. <laughs> Near, yeah. We've got a lot in store. You know, uh, 2017's been an incredible year, and you're going to see tonight why the future is bright for this year for gaming. I mean, we've got a great show lined up for you tonight. It's a big night for PlayStation. Ryan, anything you're looking forward to in particular? No, I mean, really, I just want to be able to share this moment with everyone that's here at the Shrine. Oh. And uh, we just... You know what? Don't go anywhere though, because with this whole this whole hour that we have with you guys, PlayStation Live for me three. There's going to be game announcements, Jeez. release dates, yes, you know, oh, trailers. Like release I mean, it's just there's a lot of good. See, this stuff. is how you do. I just I think they just they're doing everything right. You and Taylor, Taylor, we're gonna convert them tonight. He's gonna be looking. I can't at argue. They they got my interest, and I play so Xbox. Excited. Crash Bandicoot is finally coming back end of this month. We're gonna get a chance to see him. Eighteen days. A new trailer! Oh my god! Oh my god! My hype levels are. Are you writing down stuff? Oh shit, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. Oh I god. did think I though. Went out the window. I did think though we would cover this stuff after we cover the main conference because some people might not watch this. Sure. Right so we get. The... <laughs> no, we're on right now. <laughs> Pre show exactly. crap. Now, the real, the real question is yeah. can everyone hear us right now? Yes. So, tell me about Because, yeah, then we can get off the hype right, of the well, conference. Okay, maybe I jinxed them. Maybe some. <laughs> At least they don't make it awkward. They play it off like they're good friends and like. Really, they conferences. <laughs> I do like that. She's like, I think we're live now. <laughs> She's like, oh shit. I don't think you want me to say that. But I think he is. He tells amazing stories and he always keeps you on your toes. So. Oh. It's playing. <laughs> it was in the like awkward. Uh, I think but they're gonna kick. They use this to get the kinks out of Yeah, exactly. The relationship together is perfect. Oh, oh, we do have a crash here. Perfect. Well, let's uh. We're yes. Gonna look at the crash let's go. Let's go. We've already discussed Meredith is, yes. is a fun. Mary. Fan of, so what do you think? Should we try and toss to it again? Uh, we can try. What Wanna do you think? Try? I don't know. You tell me. You're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm okay. gonna say. I'm gonna say we're gonna try, and then if it doesn't happen, then I'm gonna keep talking about gear for like forever. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, this Ryan. Yeah. Very smooth. Now we're gonna do it. Yeah, he's a big PlayStation. Do they don't have like a producer in their ear? Uh, yeah. They're... So we never did get to that point about 9S or 2B. So Crash so Trailer's not going I'm well. 9S. Okay, I'm going to go 2B. But like I said, I think it's their relationship that makes them a great pair. And also, the more you play, the more that that story opens up to you and to all the rest of the players. And to the characters, too. I mean, it's a really fascinating layered story, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, yo, We're talking about also, a game that came out earlier this year. You could actually fight against, like, the CEO. <laughs> yes, I saw this. <laughs> but, like, the, the head of Square Enix or yeah, something makes a cameo in the game. That's I feel like that requires a brave soul to do that. Okay. To just put yourself in there. Okay, for someone who's we never are, played it like myself. We are in a live environment, and I did get I did get the word that we do have that new Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's check it out. Okay, let's actually see it. Let's go. He's back! Look at that. Oh my god, you look at that! Oh, breakdance fighting! And warp, baby! I'm so excited. Crash Lots of crash, that's what I got right now. Hashtag crash it Oh, oh my shoes. god, 18 days. You'll never see me again. That's it? That's the end of Travis on Gate first. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Crash Panicker just looks like a cokehead. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like in my icons. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A trailer right away? This is a P PlayStation logo. <laughs> oh, this is just, yeah. X, Y, square, whatever. They dropped the God of War release date here. PlayStation 4 Pro. What oh, they you're talking about the Pro, okay. What'd you say? 
What if they, they do? do? Then I think the next, co- like the actual conference, would be huge. Like they. What if it sucks? Your experience propelling you to new heights of gaming and entertainment. Oh. Dynamically new engineered heights? to utilize power, processing, and core algorithms. Who's talking? The PS4 Pro enhances the comprehensive PlayStation universe. The PS4 Pro presents high fidelity. Who's talking? Who's narrating this? Taylor, you're gonna be so mad you don't even know this. Like no, I know this. Not as well as Taylor. You could guess ah, it, but I get fucked. See all these enhanced. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I feel bad. But it's Mark Hamill. Augmented visual. Oh, it's it's not. Bad is this with you? PlayStation games. Wow, Taylor, your Star Wars card just went away. He definitely sounds different from the last time I've heard him speak. Such as the Last Jedi trailer. <laughs> Even then, he sounded different in the Last Jedi trailer. Excuses. It doesn't even sound like him. I don't even know. If yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like him. I mean, I believe you that it's him. How do you him, know it's him? But I've listened to him for fifteen years or yeah, like ten years doing the Joker. Yeah, I don't listen to him as the Joker, so there's no but way like, I, I would know. I just know his actual voice. Like, I just think it's pretty recognizable. He has like a very soft-spoken. Apparently not. Razor sharp control. PS4 games. Day's gone. The PS4 Pro features hot dynamic range. Hot dynamic range. Wider gamut and visibly expanded contrast ratios, moving you closer to all the subtle nuances the human eye is capable of seeing. Experience What's up, Scorpio? extraordinary entertainment. Scorpio. Right. One X, one X. Video content. PS4 Sorry, I forgot they chose that terrible name. 4K display required. So you're getting a lot of SAS, a lot of Sony oh, SAS. Okay. Sony PS4 yes. Pro's extensive and ever-expanding library of incredible content. Detroit, come human. Day is gone. Best games available. All here. Day is gone. Zero oh. dawn. Them showing a lot of Detroit makes me hopeful because I thought they were gonna. Because one thing obviously we're not seeing is oh no, Nat is obviously no Death Stranding, right? And that's because that's so far out. Yeah. yeah, I'm showing a lot of Detroit. has me hopeful that we may get... Oh, God, that looks sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we may get... <laughs> we might get a date for Detroit. If so, I'm going to be fucking losing my mind. poop my pants. Fucking my body. Give me the ready. diapers. Goodness. See, Taylor, the hype, you can just feel it. Well, I own a PS4 now, so I'm I'm more hyped. <laughs> yeah, than last year. Yeah, you were the spectator now. You know something, Ryan? Yeah, PS4 Pro. So this thing's been on uh, out there delivering 4K gaming since November. Dozens oh, of that games. subtle shots fired! Did you hear that? They're like, we've oh, been de- it's been delivering 4K. If you listen closely, he says Xbox sucks. <laughs> He's like, we've been delivering 4K <laughs> gaming since <laughs> November. That's a shot, all right. Oh yeah. Microsoft, more like Microsoft. <laughs> I'm never going to a Sony conference again. This is my last one. My first and only one. I'll send it to you. But for me, I'm going to turn it on and light it to me. I'm going to suck it. Speak! 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 I got a little sugar rush. Let's go. Yeah. That blazer kicking in. Oh, whoa, you're not. Cookie dough up in my. I'm going to kind of get a sense from him on where he thinks 4K gaming is going in the future. So we had a great chat. We're gonna take a look at that right now. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, there's your first Death Stranding, I thought. Knack. We're definitely getting that to at probably. So I don't know what the main show, months, but since we've launched PS4, we'll get another series. So, you know, you pleased with the overall reception? Yeah, the reaction's been pretty good. I mean, Is that Dana Carvey? Of course, driven by 4K TV. Sounds like that. <laughs> We're seeing that roughly half. Church Lady. Pro users are playing their games on 4K TVs. Which Love Dana Carvey. Using HD One of the best in all over. He is. I agree. TV Bro- Jumping broccoli. Probably top. Jumping broccoli. I don't know for a fact. Do you think he's top 10? He might be, but... Off the top of my head, I'd say it. One, one day. I highly recommend taking a look at it's pretty good. Playroom VR. Mm-hmm. Which is free it's just the subtle things with him, you know? True. Is he your favorite SNL cast member, you think? Yeah. Is he my favorite? Yeah, of all time. Have Dana Carvey? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. Who would be your favorite? Um, I love Chris Farley. Farley's That's the first one that comes to my mind. Farley's my number two. Um, I don't know, I'd have to think about it. I love Fred Armisen as well. Fred Armisen is great. I love Will Forte back in the day. Will Forte is good, yeah. My favorite is Eddie Murphy. I love Eddie Murphy. So. See, I didn't. I haven't really watched much of his in SNL stuff. Like, have you ever watched? I didn't watch the really old school. I've never seen it. No, you should watch it. I should. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. 
Grand I also, I love Molly Shannon. I actually really liked, um... On PS4. I lost it. Gaming, I was gonna say Adam Sandler, but he was alright on SNL, actually. So he was amazing. He's pretty good. Trying to think Will Ferrell is really good. Will Ferrell, yeah. I wouldn't call it a surprise, but it was definitely... <laughs> We're just talking about SNL. There. John, Bel well, huh, John Belushi, I love. Mm -hmm. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. I don't count Bill Moore or, or Bill Murray. Yeah, I always forget that he was. He's on one season. Was he just that? Did he just become that popular or something? And no, it's, at one time in SNL, they were going after more popular people on purpose. So they pay more. He was already popular? Yeah, yeah. Like he was, I don't think he was Ghostbuster level popular, but he had a name already. Right. And they were doing like, let's get four to five like big cast members for a year and keep switching it out. So, yeah. Chevy Chase was great, but I just, he's such an asshole now. In real life, I always forget to count him, but he's great. Um, Rachel Dratch, mm. great. Both Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, you know. Yeah, of course. Gorilla Games is a very talented technique. Hated and Kristen Wiig. The ability to focus just on you like Kristen Wiig? No, I hate him. I like her in movies. I don't like her in SNL. I felt like she was Melissa no, McCarthy in SNL. She just kind of played the same character. She's always some like weird person that was like yeah. nervous or. As well as higher I had another one of those. And increased quality of the most gilly. texture filtering. The result gilly. is smooth, Gilford. stable, and clean. I, I actually like, um, um, I like Jason Sudeikis, like from Neurocast. Oh, I, I like Jimmy Fallon. The games typically mm -hmm. suffer from. I'm a fan of the games. Can I put this in this garage or do you want to confirm me not to? Oh, that's Which brings a truly surprising amount of detail to the graphics. Sorry, folks, we're not talking about PS4 Pro. Well, this is like, I have nothing to comment on HDR color space. I don't know what that means, really. That's their version of Teraflops. All, all I can tell you about HDR is that I gotta turn it off whenever we want to stream because it doesn't work with the capture card. So it's fuck you, HDR. Well you simply wow. have to Just kidding. Speaking <laughs> of the Decima engine, we also learned Decima. that Kojima Productions is going to be using that for Death Stranding. So I gotta ask, is there anything you can share about the game mm -hmm. or how it might tap into oh, Mads. Pro's increased power? Kojima Productions is doing more than just using this. Oh. They're actively contributing to its development. Cool. The Decima engine is now a collaboration between the two studios. As a result, I cannot studio, wait. Anyone who saw the Death Stranding trailer last December was probably pretty blown away by the close up of Mads Bickelson and the reality of the graphics on Pro. As for gameplay, uh, I have seen some early work. I haven't gotten my hands on the controller yet, but uh, I can say that the game shows a certain clarity of vision. It is, in the best sense possible, a Kojima game. Another game we're all looking forward to is Spider Man. What Ooh. is the team at Insomniac Games saying about how they're planning to leverage PS4 Pro? I'm actually spending a, a lot of time with the Insomniac team. It's a pretty similar relationship to what I have with Kojima Productions. So the I've team. seen quite a bit of Spider Man. I don't want to diminish in any way what they're doing for the Pro. It's great, but their oh. number one focus is on gameplay innovation within the Spider Man universe. For example, how does Spider Man fight? And certainly, with his incredible speed and agility, and of course, his webs, there's the potential for a whole different style of combat than you've ever seen before. I'm really oh, looking forward wait. to the next reel. Getting back to your question about specifics on PS4 Pro. Yeah. I don't want to talk about any games. Don't get me in trouble. Temporal injection. That lets Temporal injection. Ever take any of that, Taylor? I can't say I have. 2160 so it's full on 4K. <laughs> You guys looking forward to Spider-Man info? Yes, but I, I honestly don't think we're gonna get too much. Like what we're getting right now is great. Which I should turn it up because we should be looking forward to in terms of high-end implementation of PS4 Pro. I'm excited. I am, but I don't think we get too much info this year. I don't even know if we get it at the main show. I think. Yeah, I don't think it's coming out 2018. I really don't. If I'd be excited, but I don't want it to be a hey movies coming out. Let's do we know who's making it again? Insomniac. They did um, the Ratchet and Clank last year. They got really well reviewed. They did Sunset Overdrive. Oh, oh yeah, they, they got a good track record. What does the future of games development look like games from your perspective? We've been talking about technology here, but in and of itself, technology is not meaningful. It acquires meaning. See, that's why for me, with this being the pre-show, I'm kind of fine with this because it's like sending us in, talking about some things so, we saw last year. It's kind of like I feel like they're subtly reminding you of all the stuff they talk about last year. Right. So it pops time, up already. You're like, oh yeah, I remember myself, they show Spider-Man. Always you know? looking for that tool or technology that will allow games to go to a whole new level, and to bring that tech to the games community, the creators. Oh, whoa. A wee bit laggy. There goes our buffer. That's what that whole level is. I think we'll just have to wait and find out what Todd Howard and Neil Druckmann and Sam Hauser and the like create next. Okay. Mark, is there anything Mark. you're looking forward to in particular at E3 <laughs> Mark, this week? tell me about those tweets. It'll be quite the showcase <laughs> for PS4 Pro. All games will be running on it. And 
<laughs> one of the games we've been to uh, uh, a title joke. I've been working on for the past few years oh, in collaboration he's been working with some on great. interactive entertainment folks. <laughs> oh, no, that's what you <laughs> well, I don't know, because like, we can't joke about it. Game, which I'm happy to announce will be launching this September. Wow. Here's the trailer. Here's the trailer. Oh, we're just getting a natural themselves. right now. Jesus. See, this is smart not to do on the main Who show. Back to... Did he say specific day in September? Just said September. Well, yes. That that one complete joke, but still, I was wondering if it was gonna come out this year. Here it is. I'm in. Awesome. And it has like a little fan base, so you know if the second one's better, then I like how they did that though. How we didn't even we didn't even feel it coming. They just slide in there. Mm -hmm. Like, if I won the lottery, and there was a gun to my head, I'd probably play this game. Go Marley. It's pretty choppy. Yeah. Marley says, so far, Microsoft is her favorite conference. And that kills me to say I'm a Sony Nintendo fan. Well, don't worry. It's a Sony Nintendo. What did she say? She's a Sony Nintendo fan. She's no, before that, though. mad that Microsoft favorite? is her favorite. Oh. Don't worry, Sony hasn't even happened yet. If that if you feel that way after Sony, then I understand. September fifth. But Nintendo, don't get your hopes up. But I think Sony's gonna kill. They're already killing with a fucking pre show, so and I'm lucky enough to be joined by one Asad Kizzlebash. Welcome, sir. Thanks very much. It's nice to be here, Sid. Yeah, so you uh, work really closely with PlayStation's worldwide studio. So I'm, I'm curious uh, your thoughts on Act Two if you've had a chance to play it. Oh, yeah, mm, not good. Not good, good Sid. <laughs> I actually just quit last week. Really addictive, <laughs> pop in, pop out's fun as well. Uh, and we're really trying to make this an accessible game so lots of people can play it. So we're pricing this at thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, again, oh, nice. it's coming out September fifth. So that's thirty nine ninety nine. That's deal. really cool, actually. So you you got all the connections. I guess the price of the, price of the first one. Hmm? You know, I think that was the price of the first one too. Oh, is it? Was it? Was yeah. Hey, Travis. Yeah. How much was NAC one? It was a full price game. Okay, because this is thirty nine ninety nine. I told you! Remember I said I when remember. they revealed that! Hashtag Travis told you so! I told you when we revealed that I'm like they're for sure gonna do 40 bucks. There's no way to do $60 game. Hashtag Travis told you so E3 counter up to three. Here we go! Shut up. Never. That's smarter than though, because the reception for NAC 1 is not good. So why throw a full price again? So smart. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's something that we yeah, haven't done. Now I only have to win half a lottery. That's great. So I think we have a trailer. We actually have a debut <laughs> on one of these. Point. It's Hidden Agenda from the creators of Until Dawn. He, so very feminine, but a he? Trailer for Hidden Agenda. Okay. I just, that was my fault. I assumed by the name Marley. What? I think Marley's saying Game he is a he, not a she. And I always said she. Um, designed to be played I'm very bad with names. That's what we talk about with Felix. I was just, yeah. that's a Felix. boy's name. Game, your choices oh, Felix. Really, really matter. What is this now? Uh, uh, characters in the drama can... Uh, by, by the people who made Until Dawn. <gasps> That's Kitty Cassidy! It's also one about trust. Uh, so it's about the yes. trust uh, between the, uh, the characters in the game and their relationships, but also the trust with you and your friends playing the game in the room. Story of the Who is Kate Cassidy? She's an actor, Kitty Cassidy. I think it was her. I gotta see again. Who's been murdering this looks about. good. I was saying I show and Dylan when we do the 24 hour stream, I want to get until dawn and play that up for a few hours. Because we can make the choices on who lives and who dies. So. And I've never played it yet. Becky Marnie, who is a homicide detective in charge of Becky Marnie has to be kidding And Felicity Graves, who is the district attorney. We saw how people played until dawn, which was, although it was a single player experience, on the internet we saw loads and loads of people streaming it together as a group um, and all shouting out the answers to different decisions um, we thought we could make something with that in this maybe story, we'll play this in over everybody can die as a result of your actions this looks so cool have your decisions are almost like mm. taking a pebble and dropping it in a pond ripples will spread out and affect other parts of the story but if you drop a rock in there big waves will spread out and have huge impacts the classic analogy <laughs> Playlink has, has brought to to, um, to the game as a second screen for everyone that's in, in the room playing it um, has meant that it's more accessible, arguably, than a um, than a standard controller. 
it's given us options on hidden information, private information, that we can target to specific players. So for example, we have uh, what we call hidden agendas, where I'm, I'm, I've been given something, a, a secret objective to complete, that none of the rest of the guys know. That'd be pretty fun. This feels like Avalon with the video game, you know? That's what I like, because, you know, you can't always get everyone together. Like a really good fun, fun thing to play all together. Oh, yeah. ...to do what I wanted to do without letting them know that, that I'm, up, I'm up to no good. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, we did not kill anybody. <laughs> we think that we've got a great game for um, encouraging social play. It really is something that, although you can play it single player, you're going to want to play this game as a group. What's happening out there? It's not as much fun when they don't let you leave. Oh. Well, the game's called Hidden Agenda? Mm -hmm. That's not nice. Coming 2017. Fuck. That was good. Mm. Shout out. And that was the world debut of Hidden Agenda, part of the Playlink collection. Good stuff, Asa. What is this Playlink? It's, it's kind of, is that that app, I guess? I think so. so uh, Party game, games? Game, and that's good, because Until Dawn got like great reviews, like it did well, so I'm excited. Because I haven't played Until Dawn, I want to, but... That's called That's You. And it's completely different from a hidden agenda where it's all about uh, people trying to figure out who, who's who based on the answers your friends give. Uh, and again, the, the knowledge you have of your friends, the camaraderie is just so much fun. Uh, but again, a great example of a game that can reach people who aren't usually gamers. And I think we've got a video of that as well. That's you? great. Let's check out the world debut of That's You. That's You? Another, just another game? Okay. Oh, a Jessica game? Something happy? Something bubbly? First things first. This is a game like no other. Here, the only thing you need to know is each other. Let's do it. Are you? Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> Time to start with the questions. Who is most likely to laugh at a teacher's lame joke? Taylor. Taylor. I don't want to judge this person. to take a photo of someone else, and then we can get started. Okay, this game not as cool. I don't know, it looks like it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I would play, like, not games, like, on this scale, but where you use your phones, and you're playing off of an actual, like, game hey, on the screen. Hey, fair enough, if it talks to somebody, you know. <laughs> that was that was your chance to turn on me, you know? Oh, yeah, no, not a good game. No, I, no, because I'm going to take a... I'm going to give him that. It's a, it's a pretty fun game, by the looks of it. So good at destroying the internet. So good at destroying the internet. Who is most likely to make out with a string of unfair? Taylor. Check out the picture. Get everyone to make out with a Dairy Queen girl. There's no way that's happening. <laughs> that was not going to happen. You could be listening. What's up, DQ? DQ. The stream's a little jumpy right now, where we're watching. Yeah. All these people jumping on board to see this world debut. Hidden Agenda looks sick they come to this, what the fuck? <laughs> That's Shoe! Shoe. Shoe. The newest mascot for PlayStation. And that was that you wow, he didn't look happy at all. No, he's like, fuck this game. Man, they put Shoe, the president, in there. Fuck actually come with again. Wait, is that actually a president? Yeah, yeah you, 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 Shuhei Yoshida. Yeah, that's like the president of PlayStation. So. I think that's his official title, but he's like the main creative development guy. So, again, these are great examples of games for people who aren't really gamers by using your phone as a controller. So, all our playing games are going to come out in the holiday. Uh, but what we're doing is we're taking that to you, and we're offering it free to Plus members uh, for a limited time coming out on uh, July 4th. So I think that's pretty exciting. That's me! That's my birthday! That's, that's me! Games, that's that's we what we're early, playing. We're focused on those core games as well. And one I'm really excited about is uh, Matterfall, which I know you guys know. Look, I'm a huge Housemark fan. I mean, Dead Nation, Rezo gone on and on. Oh, and Rezo I gone. heard the first fun game too. gameplay of Matterfall right here Matterfall. right now. So let's get right to that. See, I've played some of these indies, you know, the Sony indies, the Nation, Resogun, I've, I've, I got this. Halo. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
create the platforms I use. Some bullet hell mechanics. That looks cool. Yeah, I'll get a free on PlayStation Plus. And that was Plus. the world debut of Matterfall, looking fantastic. Another Housemark gem, I, as well, expected. I know, and as you said, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Housemark. Love Resogun, I love Dead Nation, yeah. Superstar, some of my favorite games. If you love those games, you're gonna love Matterfall. And it's coming out this summer. It's coming out this summer, very exciting. So hey, Asad, while I've got you, I wanted to touch uh, base on the game formerly known as Hot Shots. Oh yeah. This is, so everybody's golf is, is you, actually, first of all, you know, Molly it's saying that he knows more girls than boys than Mario, right, so he understands. It's the same studio, Clap Hands, um, and this is their debut on PlayStation 4. And we actually just Marley. Finished, uh, Marley. Marley. Beta. Went really well. We yeah, Marley, Canadian. And, and, uh, uh, feedback into the game. It's looking phenomenal. All right, well, I hear we have new footage for everybody's golf, so let's take a look at the latest. Everybody's golf? Mm. <laughs> Sony pre-show is uh, audio levels are a little bit over. So why does Sony do a pre-show? Like why? Why do you think Xbox would? Are they entitled to? I'm just curious. No, like, I don't. I think because you look at Xbox, you look at things like Tacoma and everything like this. I think they could put this stuff in their. Like I said you didn't see last year's conference. They could put this in their conference, but they don't. What happens is usually they'll show off a game. A president or someone will come on and talk, say a few words, and then they literally just go game, 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 and it's over. Last year was like under an hour the conference, and it was just like game after game after game, and that's it. They don't stop. They came out like stuff like a guy came out to announce Crash, like a little, but they're on the stage for like 30 seconds, so they don't want to be. This could make someone check a phone. Where on the pre-show, you don't have to tune in to check this out. You know, is Shu a player? Oh my gosh, Shu's all over these fucking games. But yeah, I think they. To me, it's just smarter because. There are going to be some people that don't tune into this, but they'll hear through the grapevine. Oh, Knack has a trailer. Have you seen Hidden Agenda where on the main stage, if they show Matt Knack, people might be like, oh, God, Knack too. Like, I might get a bad reception. But So I think it's smart. I think it's a good way to weed it out. And that's what I mean. This is what I said. This was They're talking to developers. It's more laid back. It's what I thought it was going to be. And that's what I like. Because it's like, do this and then do your big main event showtime thing. What was this game called again? Golf Island Time. Golf Island? No. That's what it said in the top right. Like, really? Is it Golf Island? Everybody's Golf is what it's called. Everybody's Golf. No, but Golf Game. Golf, it's called Everybody's Golf. They said that at the beginning. Right. Well, I, I don't blame you for not believing me when you just said Golf Island. Well, it said that in the top right. So I didn't just pull that out of my ass. I don't see it. It's called Nice Shot. It's called Everybody's Golf. golf. Oh, look at Open World MMO. Go fuck up some Taylor's people. Look at him going, you must win it. Jason's in there. This is the best looking golf game I've ever played. I'll tell you how much. Really? Fishing, you can go fishing. You know, whenever I'm playing golf, I'm like, man, I wish I could just go fishing in these ponds. <laughs> there should be some crocs, uh, uh, hippos. No, like. Oh, happy Gilmore. Yeah, reference happy to Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. What's the guy's name again? Chubbs or Chubbs that gets killed. Chubbs. 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 Well, he didn't get killed by Crocodile. Adam Sandler kills him. He falls out the window. But he took Chubbs' hand. Shooter McGavin. Shooter. I hope Shooter's a playable character. Michaela says, I feel like Microsoft should have done the same thing to limit the amount of lackluster game announcements. I agree 100%. Because there were so many games like Tacoma, like a Deep Rock, like... What else? All, a ton of them. All the games that are in the middle, what was another, if you have another? Stuff, no, stuff that we can't remember. Uh, last night, like, I think all those games, yeah, should have been here because it would have been better. I agree, like, I don't understand how each year people watch Sony and they don't just copy them. Like, you be, like, th like Bethesda's doing their own thing, but everyone else, why don't they just do a doom, 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 like, I don't get it, like, but maybe it's because Sony's trying to go for more fans instead of the press. They don't gotta worry about the press because they're, like, the top selling console right now it's like uh you're happy you're making money so or like even if investors too which happens to be my birthday well happy birthday to you and uh i did want to make a good well, i said would have given time to some of the cooler looking in these and glosses over them in the montage yeah that was one thing even kyle said like lots of games in the montage you want to see because the time of it so mm -hmm. oh what was this i missed it no one knows okay my bad world premiere seattle the game, this game looks very realistic <laughs> Oh, Grand Turismo. Oh, Grand Turismo.
Oh, so it is Gran Turismo, I guess. It's like instead of driving, you uh, it's speed walking. Wow, speed walking. Yeah, they've been pumped. They, I don't think they've dropped a date, but the, it's Star GT, so I think they're. I think this will be their like end to the pre-show because it has a big falling Gran Turismo, so I think it'll be like the end to this of like the big reveal, but. Maybe not, maybe it's right now. We still got 20 minutes left. Yeah, we still got 20 minutes. I think we did show a couple more things. Maybe God of War release date. I don't think so. <laughs> Just kidding. I think that's because he's having fun. Are you being sarcastic? No, he actually does. Okay. Polyphony. まあ、ちょうど19年前ですね。にどんな会社にしようと思ったかというと、ある意味大学のキャンパスのようでありながら最先端の研究所のようでもありながら、なんかこうハイスクールのいや、not yeah, for me, I'm not going to be I'm not biased. I don't be like, "Oh yeah, a car game for Sony. This looks great." It's still not for me. Like I just like, "Cool, I'm happy people are." I love they love their GT Sony racing games. Yeah, exactly. They need their Forza fix, but not for this guy. I'm gonna go get some water. Is anyone gonna refill? Yes, yes, sir. I would love a water. Let me come grab my water. Don't let him have any water. Don't let him have any water. He'll get more crazier and then we'll eventually come in and get a Sony PlayStation. Whoa, language! Hi, folks. How you doing? My name's Travis Snow. Find me at Twitter, at Travis B. Snow. GT's boring as fuck, I'm sorry. I know all you pe not new people, but just like people love car games. They just I don't like cars. I don't like car games unless I'm in GTA. You're not gonna find me in a fucking car. Lots of trophies. Lots of trophies. I feel like this guy just lit. Actually, maybe this is his house or studio. He's just like locked in this room until they're like, you can't come out till you make the game. You know. What? I'm talking about. Oh, I think said what? <laughs> what? That's a cool desk. I wonder if he realizes that his keyboard is actually a keyboard. Yeah, exactly, Marley. GTA 5, that's where I do my driving. That's fun! Sorry, but you can hit people, you can crash, cars explode, you can get out, shoot some cops, like... Planes, boats. Yeah, exactly. You can. There's many races, you can pull up heights, like... I don't want to... Driving a car can be fun, but I don't just want to do that. It's like, if there's a Pirates game, I don't just want to, you know, be in a boat and shoot people. Yeah, but it's like what you had said earlier. If you just have a racing game, focus on cars, that means you can add so much more detail in other aspects of the game. But I don't want that. Just on the I don't want that. Yeah, I don't some want... people do. Some people like Kyle I, like car fans. I don't want Skull and Bones. Some people like their pirate ships. The reason I really like Dirt <laughs> is kind of what they just showed there. Like, there's all sorts of diverse tracks. Like, they have, like, their snowy tracks, and they have their, like, dirt kind of, like, a lot of jumps and stuff like that, but then they also have, you know, like, street races and stuff like that. And I, I find that, like, it just seamlessly goes between all of those kind yeah. of things, and, and it, just, it just feels really good. Like, when you're driving around on a dirt track, like, the tracks that you leave, leave prints in the dirt, and then it, like, affects, how, like, next lap and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I really love Dirt. Dirt's my only racing game I play. Oh, so that's GT coming fall. I guess coming fall 2017. Cool. Good. That's a Sony actually has a bigger lineup so far if God of War comes out. Last year, all they I think they had Uncharted. No, that came out March. Last year, I remember that was the thing. People were like, oh, they don't have an exclusive. What are they going to do? But they just sold like and other it, games. And I like how this, this uh, pre-show, everything is 2017, right? So far, yeah, yeah, like everything is just like here are some games coming up, and then the main show is like okay, this is where all the big heavy hitters. They might take a little bit longer, but yeah. Well, and then this is the thing people go. And to, some well, of those could be 2017 as well. Well, yeah, and some people could go be like, oh, well, where's your 2017 games? Well, then they can point to this and be like, well, we revealed a bunch an hour ago, you know. Mm -hmm. So and they'll they'll already be hitting the web, so it's smart. So and yeah, they got Knack coming out. They got GT and GT's big. Knack, I think, will actually sell well at being at the forty dollar mark, especially if it reviews I think well. So too. Um, I still think God of War, well, this is not my Travis Totally So moment. I think uh, I will get the God of War release date. I think it could be November, but I don't want to 
I don't want to stay 100%, so I, to save, I, I can save see it getting the horizon approach again yeah. from the very spot. Because they did so well. Yeah, and then I could see if it is coming out, like Detroit being like a March or April being like Space Now. Because Mar- Detroit and God of War, there's not going to be much crossover there, I think. I'm like Sony fanboys, like completely different audiences, you know? So, right. So is this still Gran Turismo? Yeah, they, they're pumping this game big time. Yeah, if this isn't a conference, they'll be like, okay. Yeah. Chill out. Even for the pre-show, it's like a little a little too long here, you know? But I get it. It's a, it's a it's a big one. I think it's been a little while since... I wonder, how do racing games do? Because every do conference well. pimps they out like a racing well. game, right? That's probably why. And I, Except for Bethesda. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we have not gotten a GT game on the PS4. Oh. The last GT yeah, game, I'm pretty, you know, it, la- it launched the last year of the PS3, so everyone was like, why the fuck didn't you just wait for PS4 to like, launch? But I remember it actually came out, I think, like, I think PS4 like launched in November, and the last GT came out for PS3 on December, and I was like, this is very strange. So, yeah, it was very strange. I think this is the first, uh, like, Taylor said, I'm pretty sure it's the first one for PlayStation, so that's probably why they're pumping it up. Pumping it up. I'll say that uh, Forza looks much better than this. Like, it just looks like more fun. It's always been the, the this has always been like the less superior version. Mm-hmm. They've always had that. I feel there. like they just showed that Porsche, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I saw a 911 on the thing. Mm. Yeah, that didn't. It didn't. Like, even the crew trailer, I think, was better than that. Wow. I, I, think they I just don't think it was a good trailer. Game. I don't think it was a good trailer. Console. Man, GT Sport is looking so good. 4K, 60 frames, HDR. How do they do it, Ryan? Yeah, it's incredible. It's an honor for me to be there. And they have VR, too. That's right. And right. I forgot that that's the last year. We, uh, I recently had a chance to meet up with PlayStation's research and development team, Ooh. you know, R&D team. So this should be fun. Like to meet these guys. They're pushing, like, gaming technology to the brink every day. So uh, let's see what they've got. Strong. Okay, let's see what they got. Research and development at PlayStation. Innovation is a little bit messy, but it's also very rewarding because you sit down and you think about things and you talk to the customers, you find out what they want, and then you look around at what's available in technology terms, you brainstorm, you tinker, you try ideas out, all of which is great fun. And then you have to kind of crystallize out and bring it together and finally make something. Today, I'm pleased to announce that PlayStation VR will launch globally in October 2016. I think the one question that we all had in our minds was, how can we make the gaming experience as immersive as possible? Then we tinkered. We kind of played with prototypes. And some of those prototypes were really wack things. Quite amusing to look back on now. I mean, even the element of how you fit it on your head, the design, the aesthetics, the comfort factors, all of these things are very important. And that's hard work, but it's really rewarding work because eventually you see it and you see people using it and you realize, wow, I helped make that. In order to make a product like PlayStation VR, we have to look at what's available in the market as well because cost is important. So we all have cell phones now and, and you don't think about it, but some of that tech is fundamentally what we needed to build VR with, like the high resolution display. The accelerometers and the gyros were exactly what we needed. We weren't thinking specifically about virtual reality, but pretty soon in the development of Move, we had one of our researchers, and he strapped the PlayStation Move to his head and interacted with the TV. And when he moved his head, the image on the screen on the TV moved in the same way. And this was like a kind of 1.0 VR, if you like. Some of the technologies that really excite us in the lab right now are things like artificial intelligence, and very specifically, there's this area called natural language understanding. If you've ever talked to Siri or Amazon Echo, you'll know what this is. But imagine if you can use that to talk to game characters, to actually have a dialogue. Instead of selecting the dialogue options That's using pretty a joystick, cool. you actually just speak it naturally. Another thing that we hmm. want to improve in virtual reality is display. So right now we use two panels, one for each eye, and that's how we generate the images using a simple technique called stereopsis that gives you a depth cue that explains to the brain how far away something is. But the brain also thinks about focus. 
think about focus in, in terms of what you do with a, a camera or binoculars where you have to move a little ring in order to focus an image. Now the eye does this all the time and you don't really think about it, but in VR that doesn't happen today because your eye is not constantly refocusing, whereas in the real world it would be. So what we want to do is we want to bring that in so that we also have that refocusing happening in virtual reality as well. And so I think in the future as we develop all these technologies, we'll get to a place where we can do both of those things, stereopsis and focus, and that will give us the ultimate visual experience. And one of the areas that we're very excited about is gaze tracking, so understanding where you're looking. So to build that into a game and to have both the real human players, but also the non-player characters make those same assumptions about eye contact, and they can get kind of uncomfortable because you're staring at them. And if the eyes give you a window into the mind, imagine what you can do if you can actually read the mind. And this is a little bit further out. This is almost in the realms of science fiction, but it's grounded in yeah. the as well, which is a brainwave interface, where you actually measure the brain waves, and it gives you an insight into what people are thinking at a very basic level. So this is all ideas, this is the future, looking just over the horizon. And maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't. What's important to us is pushing That's the not a good sales game. pitch. It's really <laughs> maybe we'll see it, next maybe we we'll. won't. And when we see somebody enjoying that technology that we've helped to build, this is really proud. Now watch our full conference with your VR headset. One day. Fascinating stuff, you know, and uh, I'm actually very yeah, pleased to be joined by a very dear friend of mine, Mr. Andrew Kelly. Thanks, Sid. Delighted nice to be here. So glad you could make it. So I understand you had a little bit of a hand setting all this up here tonight? Yeah, yeah. We're here at our arcade before the big media showcase. We're showing off some of the games that people will see at E3, and I helped put all this together. So we got some really, really cool stuff here, and I'm, I'm excited. Very good. So I hear PS4 Pro, PSVR are going to be a big theme. Oh, I'm too, the thing is Anything yeah. you might be able to share yeah, with us on this? Absolutely. We have a new game for PSVR that okay. we're excited to announce, oh. and that is Super Hot VR. Let's check it out. Cool. Okay, cool. More VR games? It sounds like a good VR game. <laughs> oh. Didn't we see this in a montage or something last year? The VR version? I don't know if we saw... I love this music. I don't know if we saw... If it, it just seems... Like we... This aesthetic looks familiar. Well, this game came out like a couple years ago. Oh, did it? Like... This, yeah, this isn't the first iteration of this game. Okay. Then it's a cool game. Like, pretty much the enemies only move when you move. What is it called again? Super hot. Super hot. Yeah, see? Didn't even know. But I think I'd I see never got around to it, but it was... But I think they may have shown something at the PC conference last year, because I feel like that's the yeah, only Yeah, I definitely remember place. seeing something at this game. Yeah, I feel like that's the only place I would have saw it, but it looks cool, and I think it would be a really good VR game. Something that's not too hard in the eyes and mind, you know, like... Where's your clapping from? That must be piped in. This is weird. This for the next 10 minutes. Summer. Ooh, summer 2017. A lot of games again. 2017. Enter the competition. VR Esports. Tron? Tron. This is actually that Tron thing. Spare. Oh, oh it's spare. Yeah, yeah. Spark. Spare. Uh -huh. No, no, it's spare. Hot VR and Spark. Two Spark. 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 Coming to PlayStation VR. Spark. Super Hot will be out in a few weeks. Spare. Spark a little later this year. So, Andrew, uh, anything else to reveal to us here tonight? Nope. Well, we have another game that I think was teased last week and is a long-running franchise, and we have a new entry in it. So let's take a look at what that is. Hmm. Plans for the war have been approved. Oh, the Souls Six. Skyrim VR. 
like Taylor called. Just dropped in a, a pre-show, not even worth it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, come on, this is enough. Is this, what is this game? It's not Tropico or whatever, is That's it? what I think it is. I think it is, yeah. yeah. Time to get back to Carlton. This makes sense VR, because you're just building stuff, right, and everything? Like, you're running a city, so you can look over it and like, oh, cool. Like, these are games that are, like, I'm sure they're not cost that much to make, and you can just put them out there and, like, have fun experiences with them. We could be wrong if it's not Tropical. It's, like, definitely tropical. it's definitely Tropical. It's like Drop Lore 97. I'm calling it right now. That's yeah. my prediction. We both did. Don't You can't call it your I prediction. We both said... Oh! Like if this comes out in 2017, it's gonna be weird that I feel like we didn't get lots of spaced out this year. Like if they're all coming in fall, it's kind of strange. Because we talked about earlier, there's this big gap of like no VR games, right? And now it's just like, oh, this, 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 you know? Instead of walls, I will build bridges, bringing tropical islands and people together. I still haven't played it yet, I downloaded Tropical 5. New means of transportation will offer great opportunities of exchange to you and our visitors. I'm in the store. Culture, the Good call, Marley. To tropical, so that all other nations will look upon us with envy. Woof. Okay, now do you think we get one more? We got nine minutes. Do you think we get one more game reveal? Six. I'm trying to think what it could be of a franchise that's like popular but not too popular for the main, not the main show. A little Big Planet? That was good. Uh, yeah, that's a potential. No, a Little Big Planet would be in the main show. Yeah, actually, right because it yeah. sells on like, Tropical 6. I just got Tropical 5, come on. It was free on PlayStation Plus and it's still 60 bucks and I got it. It was awesome. Oh, you're live, hey, buddy. Yeah, that was the world debut of Tropico 6. It's coming to PS4 in 2018, Mr. Andy. He knew he was live. He just wanted to share it. Developer, ton of new additions. Good stuff. I don't think it's VR, though. Is that it? Is that, are we out of games? No. Actually, we've got another one. Here. Yeah, I don't know. This is one I've been looking forward to talking about. So, uh, it wasn't VR. It was a game that it was a massive critical hit when it came out last year. That's trendy. It's got a huge fan base when it launched on PC. And basically, it's it's something that I think a lot of fans have been dying to see. Oh, Tomb Raider? So um, further ado, I would say. What's the, the shooter they showed Dayla? for PC and it's also on PlayStation? Oh, Call of Duty? No. Paragon? No, it's not, well, it's not Paragon now, is it? Yeah. Will finally feel the rush of burning in oh, hell. Oh, yeah, it's Undertale. Cool. You know this? You didn't hear about Undertale? This is a huge game. Nope. Are you being serious? No, I am being serious. Was it a huge yeah. PC game? Um, I can't remember what else it was on. Was that definitely a huge PC, PC game. Yeah, that's why I didn't hear about it. This was a lot of people's game of the year when it came out. I'm not even kidding. When like. did it come Oh, they said last year it came out? Um, it came out... Yeah, I guess it was last year. I don't know. It's hard to remember. What's the gist of it? It's just an RPG, but it's... I don't know, it has a very interesting story. It's it's a very interesting take on gaming in general, like a lot of like fourth wall almost sort of things. That comes with an illustrated story booklet, as well as a beautiful collector's edition box set that includes the game, the booklet, the official soundtrack, and... The soundtrack's amazing. dazzling gold-plated musical heart locket. Undertale for PlayStation 4, <laughs> part of a complete breakfast. That was cool. Also coming to PlayStation Vita. Oh, fuck. 
that's gonna be huge over there. Vita has a very, very like it's that small, but the attach rate is, is really good on Vita. Andrew, so that's crazy. Uh, and the so PlayStation good. podcasts I listen to are still like holding the flag for Vita, you know, still keeping it going. That's huge for Vita. So speaking of masterpieces, I understand you're a big fan of Nino Cooney. Oh, yes, Nina Cooney. Yeah, really that makes that sense. That's what we talk about here. 80 hours, gorgeous game. What's that? Uh, Nina yeah, Cooney. Huge fan. Nina Cooney? Well, this next piece Nino is going to make you really happy. I think yeah. we have a new trailer for Nino Cooney 2. Yeah. Revenant Kingdom. So First one is big. How big? I hear it talked about a lot. I think it's the same, like, kind of like a Cuphead level where people are like, oh, when's 2 coming out? There's not that big of a long gap, I think. It's just people really like this. Something in we Imagine a release date if it doesn't have it. I'm sorry, I don't know about that. I'm a Sony fanboy, but I can't know about everything, you know. Why not? Not enough time of the day. Too much wrestling and movie knowledge taking that up as well. You will return to me. Jared Leto? Jared Leto. Oh yeah, I hope there's no buffering either way because the streams are like perfect right now. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks cool. It's just that's why I like the anime vibes. It's not really for me, but I it has a good fan base. I think it reviewed really well too. Nice. Yeah. And so, how when did this game come out? The first one. I don't know if the first one was this generation or not. I'll take a look. I want to say like late PS3. Cool. Nino Kuni, Yoshi Yuki, Mimosa. Well, another Number one. Tenth. They're killing it. Great stuff. Nino Kuni two looking good and welcome back, folks. Thank you. Not long, just moments away here Four from the PlayStation minutes. E3 Media Showcase, kind of the main event of the night. I think we've had a lot of great stuff on the show here tonight, but um, I was saving one extra thing. Platform. A, a special something I wanted to save. So, um, have 2012. You PlayStation experience. Um, I th yeah, I think so. I think yeah. Yeah. Platform of Origin was Nintendo DS. Yes. So this is the thing yes, where fans can cool. come, they can gather, we have games that aren't out yet, they can play, we bring game developers, they can hang out with panels. It's, it's a big party, basically. Yeah, so, well, I can actually confirm to you guys tonight that uh, PSX is happening for 2017. Oh. And it will be coming December 9th and 10th. To the Anaheim Convention Center. We, uh, we loved our time at the Anaheim Convention Center last and year. And I came to PlayStation back, so in November and December. My suggestion is PlayStation uh, 3? to yeah. book your travel, to get that time off, you know, before all the other folks at the company do, and get ready to have a great time. It's and always a blast. It's such an incredible That's special That's big, too, because lots of times they don't announce it till really PSX, close. So. Both been. Yeah, you know, I think one of my favorite memories of Feel PSX confident. was getting to watch mm. people who have never done VR before. Do VR, and then the minute they take that helmet off, they're like, "Whoa!" Like that was a really cool experience. It's really special. Really powerful stuff yeah. to see people do that. What about you, Malik? Oh, for me, it'd be uh, the second one when Sean Lake came they out. They fixed his mic. The crash yeah, they did because he was so loud. <laughs> uh, but didn't announce for Crash Bandicoot. Pretty much trolled the entire audience. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. And then Capcom Cup was that year too, so I enjoyed that. That was a awesome. good year. I feel like we didn't see enough of these people. If they were like the main guys, yeah, it was just the main. They were gone year. for a good like yeah. half an hour yeah. of this. Uh, I mean, Great job. And just seeing the emotion, you can feel it radiating out of the audience. It really is something special. Be My God, like chat, let's get hyped. I really urge people I'm so to, excited. To so it's I gotta switch the stream over, yeah? No, I'll leave it. This one's good? Awesome. Yeah, I'll leave it. This is the PlayStation. It's info. synced up well. What if we get sued? We won't get sued. I hope not. One can hope. I can just, you know, you guys didn't care the pre-show, I'm sorry. We are now ready for the PlayStation E3 Media Showcase. Let's go to that now. Oh, I'm That's... sporting already. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> sporting already. It's <laughs> a good word, eh? Yeah. Where's Marley? Is Marley back? No, I... Marley, we need you, buddy. Marley. To the store. Injustice. Oh, why'd they show Joker? Some Injustice Two stuff, dude. No, no. That was Arkham Joker. That was Arkham Joker. Nerd. Fucking now is God. this? Nerd. They look kind of similar. Do you think is this the? Is this the end montage for the pre-show, or is this the beginning for the showcase? This must be the pre-show. When am I the show the Joker? I think it's the beginning, because they're showing a lot more stuff. 
NES. Half and half. And they're emphasizing the PS4 there, too. Yeah. Plus, he said, let's go there now, so... True. But it's not even 6 yet. True. All good points, And it's boys. a spare. Riley's back. There you go. Marley! Marley! Nice job. Good timing. Yeah. Miss Tropical... Well, it's announced since they hit That fly is still in here. Tropical 6 they announced. Undertale is coming to PlayStation and Vita. Dylan's trying to kill a fly. Nino Kuni 2 is coming out November 10th. November 10th, so... All, I think every game was November 10th, so... You're not on November 10th. November. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, that's what you're doing. Got your VR on. It's not even coming close to me. Like I don't know. Just to get it. I like to punch. I like to punch them. They never see it coming. They they always people always go for the slap or the grab. But I go for the straight punch. They, they, they never, never see, see it coming. coming. Tron. Spark. Sweet. The old rules of TV are no longer with us. No, that's a CRT! We still and use here. those! And here. Fuck you. I hate this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and we can store more shows than you could ever watch. That's creepy. We can even watch on five devices. All of us. The rules of TV have changed. PlayStation it's time to change how you get it. Fucking hate Canada. What is View? Uh, you can just, on an app, use an app Like a like, Netflix kind of thing? No, you can just like decide, oh I just want CBS, or I just want oh, NBC. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I can't do it in Canada, because Canada has these laws and whatnot. These yeah. laws and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Fucking government. Fuck you, Canada! Nice. Play PlayStation Switch? PlayStation Days of Play. With a limited edition gold PS4 at $249, discounted games, and more. It's nine days of epic deals. They're at 601. Play it's PlayStation. PlayStation. They're showing it on PlayStation, right? The conference. Here we go. Look at that. Sold out house. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Let's fucking go. Should we turn it up? Yeah, let's turn this up. Crank that bitch. Crank it. Cranky Kong. Big announcement. Cranky Kong. Cranky Kong coming to the PS4. Beyonce? The live man. Beyonce. Can you handle this? I've been drinking. Oh. I've been drinking. No, please no. I'd be high. <laughs> that song sucks, dude. Surfboard? Yeah. That's a great it's song. Fucking garbage. No, dude. so good. Queen B. The only thing worse than surfboard is nothing. Oh. I don't think what this is for. Assassin's well, Creed. The only thing that came to my mind was Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Fuck. I, but I, I don't want it to be Assassin's Creed. Live chat when it happens shit like this. If you have any idea what you think it is, let us know. It's Fastbender playing the flute. Oh, fuck yeah. Alien Covenant. <laughs> Alien Covenant the game. <laughs> she has a flute VR mission. <laughs> flute VR on <laughs> like a single mission. <laughs> you have to tame the other Fastbender. <laughs> it's an online multiplayer he game. He comes out of the basket and he has a Fastbender. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like the second they show, we're gonna feel dumb. We're gonna make oh. At first I thought maybe Prince like Prince of Persia, Persia but I don't I think Prince of Persia too. But they wouldn't. That's a Ubisoft. Not thing. with Assassin's Creed. Not with Assassin's Creed. Creed. Ooh. Like look at the show they put on here, you know. <laughs> it's so great. It's so great. Last year they opened with a composer. That's one way to start a conference. Damn right, Mikhail. That's way to start. Damn right. What is this? It look, now it's looking more and more like the Assassin's Creed. I feel like it's Assassin's yeah, Creed. And there's not Assassin's Creed. What if they... Oh, oh Keanu? This guy's Keanu. Keanu Reeves. Matt, now he's so hyped he's John on the box. John Wick the game. John Wick the game. Oh my god. That'd actually be a sick game. John Wick the game in the movie. Imagine if this just ends like, thank you whatever group for performing and it's like, no game. A lot of fucking like, tease. Yeah. Sam, like Sam, what is this? Knack 2. <laughs> Keanu! <laughs> Where's Sonya? What the fuck is it? Or maybe it's just like an idea. New IP? Mate, that's what I was thinking. 
Elder Scrolls? <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> Scalebound? No. <laughs> Should we have sound here? It's not uncharted or anything, is it? No, yeah, I'm not sure if it's on purpose. Oh, no, it is uncharted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure not. I think that's on their end, not our end. The quietness. I thought maybe in charge DLC, I just wasn't sure they're gonna start that, but I think they're gonna drop. Okay, Sony. Where's my sound? <laughs> Do you wanna try the other stream maybe? Or? No, I think this would be it'd be streaming out to everybody, right? Switch is tuned up all the way, right? Just to make sure. Yeah. yeah. See if anyone else is having problems here. Oh shit, the mouse. Yeah. Kanye is your biggest man crush, Michaela. Damn right. Sound audio problems, not with us right now. I mean, it's a it's an us problem. Well, I mean, like it's, it's not, not our fault. Yeah, it's not. I'll have to wait until it see after this demo because. Check Twitter. Could, could just be this demo? Yeah. Uh, Mario said he has no sound on his other screen too, so I think it's a okay. it's a world thing going on. Fuck you, Sony. Zero out of ten. Yeah, this is not <laughs> zero out of oh, ten. What's happening? <laughs> zero out of ten. Can you move the mouse, please? Oh yeah, shit. Sorry. Straight triggering me. No, it makes sense, sir. This is gonna be big for people. So it's a DLC. Yeah. Awesome legacy. Yeah, it was just that preview, that's strange, because it's loud again. That one guy's really bored. Yeah. He was on his laptop, too. Yeah. Oh, they're dropping stuff. Oh, no, it's snow. Oh. I'm allergic. Could this be God of War again? G of we. Give us sound. No, oh, here we go. Start with the DLC. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. Do they not realize the sound issue? I, I, I'm not working there. <laughs> Mr. I, Sony. I would say, I would say, no, they're not. Was there snowy environments in Yes, the first but this one? is I would say this is snowier. Snowier? Hey Roy. Aloy. Hashtag Travis told you. Moment number three. Um, you got a Twitch app on your phone there, Taylor? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. The Frozen Wilds. Mmm. The Frozen Wilds. Coming 2017? Wow. There we go. It's just when it shows back to them, that's the problem, I think. I think the videos are quiet. It's kind of triggering. Yeah. I told you I going to do DLC. It was too big not to have Horizon there again. For sure, we'll ask. Ben, day's gone. Really okay. Nope. Nope. I think because what's happening, they're playing the audio that's in the observatory. The yeah. Well, folks, let us know if you find a stream that is. If you find sound, because I'm taking a look and. I'm not finding anything. Well, on Twitter, what are people saying? That's what I'm trying, but the connection's very slow. Can we use someone else's stream, like IGN, or...? But I don't know if it's a... their stream. I would imagine it... There you go. <laughs> yeah. 
PlayStation puts the source out, so everywhere would have been like this. So. Oh well, it was just DLC. So I bet you do this release date. Boom. I love the look of look. That bike just looks like so much fun to drive around. Yeah. I'm interested to see more because last year this game didn't like. I didn't fall in love with it, so. Mm -hmm. Stream issues. It's fine. I actually see it sync this up with the nice. laptop one. Oh, cross shot. Oh, bandits. Break free from Jason's crap. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, oh. The other reason why I think they're going to release this very soon is because I wanted to get it away from Last of Us 2. But as much space. Ooh, that guy's animation didn't look great, right? At least it didn't look as bad as State of Decay. Oh, bad. yeah. Flies popping off right now. I know it's bothering me. He's so he's so excited about Sony. Sony fanboy. <laughs> Fanfly. Okay, interesting demo to show. Mm. I think it, I think it's better though because nice last lighting. year all they showed was this like him fighting hordes of zombie and I want to see what's more than that because that oh this this oh. is what I want to see. That's creepy as fuck. It's like Taylor's basement. They're gonna start moving. They're alive. Oh, look! They're oh, they're hanging in the auditorium. Jesus. That's fucking sick. Come on. <laughs> interactive. Oh, <laughs> interactive. Those come Sony with the interactive. Those come with the game. Called. Those come with the game. You <laughs> get four dead bodies. <laughs> they hang from your roof. Yeah, see, this demo I'm doing a lot more than last year. I like seeing the people. I like seeing this. Ooh, head gone. Oh, a trap. Classic bushes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, trap went off. Let's check these bushes. Nah. Horizon Dawn. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Broken game mechanic. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Apparently that's impossible to do, though, I hear. Ah, I'm sure it's possible to do. I No, I think I've heard, like, a human does not have enough strength to actually break a neck like that. Eh. I think you could. I'm just saying. I've seen I didn't say that. You've seen it? I've yeah. seen it in many of your games and movies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all really realistic. Yeah, these people should have saw him. He's not being that loud. You shut down. Thank you. You shut down. Okay. Yes, there's no Assassin's Creed, eh? Okay, throwing rocks. Yeah, Horizon Dawn. Yeah. So this is Horizon Dawn with a male lead. Oh. He just stepped on a rock. Like, chill he was trapped really down. Put it in oh, trap. <laughs> <laughs> he just like twisted his ankle. Rock, roll my ankle! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking rocks! I think it's just Friday the 13th the game, actually. The break free, the traps. <clears throat> yep. That'd be sick if like, and then it ends with Jason Paul. You're not gonna get You're not gonna get it. He's oh, saying, shit. Huh? Oh, fuck. See, this is what I like. I like the horror and I like the people now, together. Okay, predictions. Oh, fuck! No, oh, it's terrifying, man. Predictions. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go balls. I'm gonna say. 2017. November 2017. I'll say really? October. That's soon? I think this will I'll be November. I'll say December. Okay, I think November. This will be November, and God of War will be March and April or February. They've already put out like set a lot of games for November, so I don't feel like they dropped. They're the bringing more. the heat. But this has got to be. The, this is the big one, though, right? The reason I think is because they want this to come out as soon as possible from Last of Us. They don't want two zombie games so close together. When's Last of Us. Coming? They haven't announced yet, so I think the longer this takes, the more they'd get worried. So put this out. Last of Us comes out next year or maybe two years. Because you don't want to be like, oh, all Sony makes zombie games now. <laughs> That's what they're good. That's what Taylor would if say. they're good zombie games, then they can keep making <laughs> zombie games. To See, be Taylor, honest. you're born to be a Sony fanboy. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that's sick. that's smart. Cause all the
Okay. I'm in. I'm fucking in now. I want to fucking buy this thing. You don't? I want to buy this oh, thing. Yeah. Do it. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. Oh. Ooh. Sam Whitworth too? Hey. That's Sam Whitworth? Yeah. Really? Is it Whitworth? Yeah. I think it's Whit oh, Whit I wasn't gonna let Whit him kill you. Whitworth, I'm pretty sure. Like, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild the carburetor? Oh a fucking bear? A zombie bear? Just back up. He should just drop to the floor on that one over there. Don't make it Oh. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Sean Layden. Okay, Brett, one of them. I don't know what special player is, but I bet he'll be like, oh, happy everyone's here, and hopefully release date. Welcome. Ooh, welcome. Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, fans and friends. This is the this is your 2017 PlayStation Showcase. Thank you for coming tonight. Oh, that wording. Your. Yeah. Naughty Dog Gorilla Ben, out of control. I thought this opening was completely uh, insane and uh, because I had to walk under zombies to get on the stage just now. They didn't even tell me about that last night. Um, we're glad to be here. We're delighted to be here. We have a full show ahead of us. So um, let's just agree that we love games and we want to see more of them tonight. It's all about the games. Every year we continue to push the envelope of storytelling, imagination, and technology. And 2016 was no exception. Virtual reality is now a real consumer product, and our consoles are more powerful than ever, offering 4K and HDR options. We'll take a look for that. No days gone on release date, though. With the launches of PlayStation Worry VR now. and PS4 Pro, PlayStation once again stood at the forefront of bringing these technologies to the world of interactive entertainment. And now, in 2017, it continues to be all about the games. In the past few months alone, have given us some of the most creative, high quality, and engaging video games ever seen. Horizon Zero Dawn. Neo. Neo. Resident Evil 7, MLB The Show, Persona 5. Look at that diverse And yet, Taylor. we have an even broader, more diverse selection <laughs> of blockbuster it. games coming soon. You, 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 that's the plan, right? You will see tonight that Worldwide Studios is bringing you the exclusives you want, and through our strategic partnerships with third-party partners, PlayStation is home to all the biggest and best franchises in the world. It has never been a better time to be a gamer. Thank you all, all our fans, all of you, for your support, and for making PlayStation one of the most loved brands in the world. Fans, you don't look happy in the audience. And thank you all for being here tonight. As we open E3 and celebrate the world of games. Crack open this week cool is our E3 with the boys. We have a this week. Live.playstation.com will serve as the home for hours of programming, including developer walkthroughs, Q&A sessions, in-depth conversations, and so much more. But tonight, let's recognize the art of gameplay with a showcase of the most anticipated titles here at E3. So, without further ado, let's get back to the games. Before I step off, it's my personal pleasure and a privilege Day's to gone. share with you now a title ah. that has a rabid cult following around the world day. and has a very special place Bastard. in my heart. Please enjoy. Yeah, I don't know when we're going to go on the bell. That was strange to just kick it off like that. Unless they do like a scissor reel of some of these states. I'm wondering. Cause I I'm want it now because I that I liked that one better. It's your scale bound. It's not scale bound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gone? No, I, 
was that Final Fantasy? I thought it was Final Fantasy was for that a second. Like cloud, there. maybe. Cable. Cable. Hold you guys got the wrong, wrong brand. Yeah, Marley, I'm the same as, or yeah, I'm the same as you. I wasn't excited that much by Days Gone last year, but that demo really got me excited because I didn't watch zombies. I liked the rest of that, so I thought it was Cloud because big story, but nope. But it's a cool it, sword. It is an IP, because he said one of my favorites. <coughs> Spore! Okay. Not loving this demo so far. Very strange. Yeah, I'm wondering though. He said I had a cult hardcore falling, so might be a real like Sony fanboy, like deep cut for people. What that... is this Spyro? That's the new Spyro. Yeah, that's Spyro right there. Great. Don't oh, fuck that fly. We got robotic dinosaurs last year. This year we're getting real dinosaurs. Mm. This can't be like Monster Hunter or something. Dude. So he jumped on it to piss it off and ran away. I, I guess so. I don't understand the point of it. Well, you know what? Out. Sometimes plans they go right. What con what console is Monster Hunter on? It's 3DS and Switch. It's not on any other consoles, as far as I know. Or not I Switch. Just don't, I don't know what this is. Yeah. Jurassic World 2. 2? Yeah. Is there a first? Jurassic World, the the movie Chris Pratt. Yeah, but there wasn't a game. There, yeah, they're just gonna skip it. Capcom. There you go. Wow. Okay. The reason I did ask you, because last week um, they filed a trademark apparently. Someone did from Monster Hunter. Really? I thought it was Sony, so. This will be a pretty big hit then. Really? There's a lot of Monster Hunter fans over Okay. There. I was going to say it's smart for them. This is not anything I think I'm met into, but. I'm just surprised that they didn't introduce something like this on the Switch first, because. <laughs> I don't know if that can run on the Switch. <laughs> No. I think let's be honest. Early 2018? Oh, a day for that, too. I think a day. No, but like, we got, a, we got, we got an estimation. Yeah, more than we say about days... <laughs> more than we can say about days gone. Many days have gone by without a release New date. New tour game? Yeah, nice drive, I know. That was a light kind of... I don't think this was thing. the... I don't know, like... Mm. I think it's because, regardless of the name, that demo wasn't that great. I agree there, yeah. So... That wasn't a like, I need to get this game. Japan. Japan. Blue point. Hmm. What? I'm just trying to figure it out. Oh. He sounded mad. Yeah. Fucking hate blue point studios. Blue point. Prince Persia? PvP? Last Guardian 2. Oh boy. Coming 2030. Oh shit. Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah, yeah, Shadow of the Colossus. Wow, what a strange time to put it out right after Guardian. That's strange. You gotta make up for those sales. <laughs> That's why when your game doesn't chart. Okay, Shadow of the Colossus, so remaster, I guess. Is this a remaster or is this a new game? Well, Shadow Colossus was made by the same people who made Last Guardian, right? Like all the same people? Oh, well, you could be right. That's cool. I still want to play the original, man. Like, I'm... Game's cool. Coming 2018. Well, 2018. Not early 2018. No, Just no, no, 2018. No. But I don't know if that's a remake or... What? Because yeah. if it's a remake, then you can play the original on your PS4. 
True. I feel like it's a remake because it didn't drop a title or Me anything. Me too, yeah. Shout out Colossus, the new Colossus. What is that to new Colossus? All biological life must be exterminated. Oh, I thought that was... Ultron. It may... It's oh, oh, Mar um, Marvel Ultimate yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom. I saw yeah. Ultron, like, that's Ultron, right? Oh shit, this is hype. Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Ultron Sigma has two of the infinite six. Look at that, so cool, Mara. Mega Man. And we have battles. Have you played any other ones? No, I'm not a fire guy game. Fighter guy game? Have you played any of them? They're really, really fun. You have no choice. Help us. Come on, stream. Quit being a fucking bitch. Whoa. A fucking bitch. bitch. Chun-Li. Look at Chun-Li just popping off with those big old thighs. Yeah, Molly thinks it's a remaster. Maybe get my money for a third time. Yeah, I think it's remastered, so... There you go. See, that's Ruben right now. Monster Hunter so World. Yeah, see, so you know that... He's I hype. I think though I still agree with Dylan. Maybe that audience really likes it. I don't. I don't. Maybe it's just that is for that demo sold to other people. Didn't sell to me at least. Codeman. They're really pushing the story. Yeah, they're really pushing the story aspect in this game over like just fighting. Oh. Chicholo. Look it. Because this is just a fighter game, right? It's, yeah. Size but of a it almost doesn't look like it. Yeah. Thanos. Okay. Infinite. Yeah. Oh. The quick name. Build a stem 19. Stem 19. Make it count. No, wait! Nova. Ninjas. Okay. Story now. Download. Download today. Yeah. Crowd type. Dante, can the ladies come out to play? That's a weird Dante. rocket voice. Ebony, Ivory, care to dance? Hmm. This audience is not feeling it, man. No. Killing my vibes right now. They're choked about that Days Gone release date not dropping. Uh, it is strange if I, I don't. Is this Call of Duty? It is strange that they start with that not hit us with release date. I'm surprised that not Aiken. even not even a year. Not even a 2018. Year. That's what I'm very surprised about. Me this year, no. Call of Duty. You know, it looks good. You know, they listen to the fans, they went back. That's what people wanted. It actually does very much look like Call of Duty 2. It just like this generation, which I won't buy it, but like uh, Call of Duty 2 is my favorite one. Whoa. Readered mine today. Ooh, that leg. Oh, Taylor, you're always so close and fucking fly. You know, if you just put your hat on top of it, you'd be stuck in there, right? Yeah. And That's then, not a bad idea, actually. Thank oh boy. you. So laggy. Yeah. Marley says, I rarely touch COD, only a skip for me. Yeah, or, or a skip for me, yeah. Sam. Two out of the three here. Taylor will be repping it. Are you going to be buying this game, Taylor? I pre ordered it today. <laughs> oh. There you go, Taylor pre ordered today. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that was good. What do you get for pre ordering this one? I, I didn't I didn't look. For Call of Duty, I mean I'm not too big on the creator bonuses. I mean I think the last one that Sledgehammer did was Advanced Warfare and that was that storyline was absolutely amazing, so them having this one that they're pumping out, I'm very curious to see how good the story is. Because COD stories are either a hit and miss. I mean 
You got that Josh Demel as well, so you can't go wrong there. Josh Demel. Okay, yeah, good enough. Move along. See, no one's gonna come on and talk about me like quality of this year is re re in revitalizing the game. I was looking for the best one. <laughs> now the crowd's there's a guy in the red sweater's coming to the that stage was to talk Oxford. about it. Was it? That's bad grandpa. No VR. Yeah. That's bad grandpa. <laughs> Okay, again in the VR, so far I'll say definitely not as uh, hype as Astro so far from no. what I've seen. Which, but I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting a, you know, knockout. I think last year's just so good. But things are gonna change. Skyrim. You act, is it? Yeah. Skyrim VR. This is, gonna, is this fucking Skyrim VR? You know, I thought we'd get a year at least. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I can only wait to make our best of E3 montage and take a clip of him you know, talking about how much I'm building Skyrim and then one day later <laughs> Skyrim VR. You wow. are so stoked. I thought, it, but then think about this. I'm not stoked. I'm fucking so dumb as Skyrim. <laughs> this is stupid. But think about it. You won't get it next year at Bethesda's conference, hopefully. <laughs> I'm surprised they sat on that for their own conference with Bethesda. Really, if you think about it, like take your, you know, your salt out of it. I, <laughs> I was just kidding during the Bethesda conference. Holy shit! Wow. It's too <laughs> Sky <laughs> VR. Got that Jessica? Now she's reading by VR, you know. Oof, my nickname. So these are all VR titles. <laughs> That's <laughs> playful snow. <laughs> yeah, because look, I think they're going to be smart with that tag at the title. Um, you didn't see this last year. Game Thrust. They showed a bunch of VR games last year, and then they transitioned over to COD. And for like half an hour, Owen thought COD was a VR game on PS VR. Oh. But they, I think they're smart. That's why they have that tag in the corner now. So, Okay, like I said, that's not like good for you. But as far as the announcement, that's a huge announcement. I'm surprised they did not have that. Buy VR, I'd buy it still. <laughs> That's how they make it. Oof, what is this? Pretty basic game so far. So it's VR, Michaela? but you, it's a 2D scroller. Michaela said, You sound stoked, Taylor. I'm not sure. It could be for COD. He loves COD. If it's. For, the th uh, for Skyrim, because he predicted it last night. He says jokingly, but you ran with it. Either I thought it was a good prediction during our Bethesda conference. He said, just you wait, you're going to get a Skyrim VR next year. But I'm a little excited for both. I'm excited for COD, but I'm even more pumped, <laughs> I think, for my Skyrim Hashtag prediction. Hashtag Taylor told you so. <laughs> Your reaction alone is <laughs> totally worth it. Uh, oof. That looks like a giant razor blade. Gillette. <laughs> it does. Gillette, Gillette, Gillette VR. Yeah. <laughs> Star Child. Starfield. Star <laughs> oh, <there>. shit. <laughs> Star Child. Maybe it's about David Bowie. Wow. I like that they're having a little VR block. You know, none of these are for me, but. Roll the tape. I'd like to try it again. Super nice anyway, catch that developer? No, who it is? No, I forget. Oh, Scooby. Arkham? I don't know. I thought. Okay. Could this. This is not our last, is it? No. Because mm. our last two is already out. No, no, no. Our last is different. I behind it. Yeah, true. This is something else. I'm trying to think of. Okay. See, I like the little teaser. Scary, something cool. Cool. Classic VR horror. The crowd is like, they saw last year and they're just like, I want to be a pet show. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Premium Chocobos. Fishing, oh my god. Which is funny, because this was quiet for a while. They announced this like last year and the game came out and nobody said anything. Oh 
god, man. So laggy! There's no so buffering symbol this time. Is that bad? Yes, it's bad. I don't know if that's on them or us. <sighs> the Elmas is getting up to fix it. The Elmas? Get the flyway out of it. No. <laughs> I see the bass from there. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna. Sorry if you're a fan, people, but it's just Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's just Final Fantasy. Yeah, for me. Hey, can't hear oh, yeah, we missed it, but oh well. Okay, Final Fantasy. Here you go, Jessica. You got a new VR game. Oh man, Dylan's on the hunt for the fly now. Okay. I need an Iron Man smash. What about this Wii Sports thing? Or is it not too? That's not mine. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, good call now. Oh, you're gonna whack it. See, this is another super massive one too. The same guys that did the Impatient game. So I think they're probably like a VR developer. Bravo, Bravo team. team. Classic, <laughs> classic war game title. Bravo team. Dylan's on the hunt right now. Yep. Got a separate live stream going on. He knows I'm up and about. Quint VR? No. Quint VR. <laughs> Poly VR? Okay. Polyarch. He plays a butterfly. Yeah, like, obviously, because I don't. He plays Ashton Kutcher. I think these games are good. For me, obviously, <laughs> I don't have PSVR, so it's not a thing, but I, I think this is a good thing for them to be doing, because last year they didn't have as big of a block as this. They showed, like, Resident like Evil, block. and they showed Batman. I think this is good for people that own it, too, because some people complain, like, hey, like, I don't have anything to play. So. Do you think they should have shown that in the pre show and show, like, cut this down a little bit? I don't think so, because I think because PSVR is so selling so well, that's why. If it wasn't selling well, it'd be the pre show, but it's selling well. And I think the other reason why, they didn't know this, but it's smart, Xbox didn't say a single thing about VR HoloLens, right? So it's like, they're kind of the, they're running the game. So I think it's smart, because a lot of fans felt that they want more content for VR, so I, this is fine. I think this could go on for maybe another 5 to 10 minutes, we're at 6.35 right now. If we're at 6.45 we're still going on this, I'll be a little, okay, maybe too much, but... And the good things, well, I haven't seen some of them, but lots of them are either coming out in 2017 or it, some of them said early 18, so. And sure, if I had VR, I'd play this game, I'm in the fucking mouse with the sword. I actually think it's a cool idea. Like, I think VR would be a perfect place to have one of those games where you play as, like, a tiny little character and you're mm -hmm. climbing around bookshelves and houses and stuff. Awesome. Obviously, that doesn't quite look like that. Yeah. But I... You I might like, have aspects like of it, though. Yeah. Because, like, the way they end it there with you going up this huge snake, you could see like the size of the snake and whatnot so oof death no no class there. oh new controller. controller pro please give me a new controller you're never getting a new controller <laughs> you guys can bitch for as much you like the world loves it the 60 million of us love it wow love it I hate to break it to you but you're wrong nope okay a little intermission for the fans I can't tell if they're cutting the volume or no one's clapping. I think no one's clapping, but there something's happening on the stage that we water. Sea of Thieves. Oh god. VR. <laughs> it's a new pirate IP. How mad would you be if the next year announced a new Elder Scrolls game, but they just called Skyrim 2? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> jump off. It the is bridge. only VR. <laughs> okay, what is this now? God of War. That's, that's what kind of popped in my head. Is this your God of War? Yeah. yeah. There it is. There's the man. There's your crowd. Well, like God of Landing on Shore, am I right? God <laughs> of Shore. Uh, you gonna do it? Oh boy. Kratos. Oh, that was a perfectly good axe. You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth. Hang on, boy! Okay! Boy. The truth.
fan of what I've seen here. So what's the general story? Like, is he a god then? Because I don't know anything about God of War. Because <laughs> I know that he faces the God of he War. He went around then. killing gods and he became the God of War. Oh, okay. I can't remember they wronged him or something. They'll make things difficult. But I've never played one all the way through. Oh, okay. The story was always like, alright, but it was more the gameplay. That's good. Oof. Oh my fucking god. Captain America? I'm signing yeah. up. There better be a fucking release date at the end of this. November? Oh, um, man, has gone. A nice December out. cold winter release for the fans. <laughs> oh, yo. Whoa. Well, that was uh, something that the uh, fight. <laughs> okay. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. To be effective in combat, a warrior <laughs> must not feel for his enemy. <laughs> Broken, man. Close your heart to their liberation. Close your heart to their suffering. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. What's the subtitle for this no game? Place or boy. I haven't said yet. I don't think it's just God of War. Yeah, I'm sure it's coming. Or maybe God of War VR. <laughs> nah. But not everyone is bad. God of War Sky. Not always said to be for those who can help. Boat mechanics! <laughs> Before it doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. is hoping for no horse mechanics. And he no. needs his mother. Come on, give me that Travis told you moment for number four. Let's go. He needs some. He needs some. I gotta at least get the majority. I'm very worried about Metro and Pokemon. Oh. Metroid? Yeah. Yeah, because they're they're announce well, that was my prediction. Yes, yes. And, and well, May, so I hope. Just for my predictions. You think they're gonna announce the game come out in May? No, just a tease. Oh. That was my predictions in May. Oh, in May. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He spat it out. He wants a. He wants a fair fight. What does it say? <laughs> Never trust a snake. God of War, Last Guardian. God of War Origins. Yeah. <laughs> Early 2018, yeah, it's not February slot, yeah. Hashtag Travis told you. That's a good February title. Big first game of the 2018, so yeah. Chris McClane? Got a Ubisoft get it, goodie bag. Good for him. Oh, oh, nerd. Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck that guy. A loser. Oh fuck. Destroy it. Oh, I got a feeling we might get a date here. Try it this week. Today. Out oh, now. Sorry, I'm not going to the work. I want to play this game. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's my most anticipated game right now. Really? Oh, yeah. There's no game out, right? Like, that's on the horizon. What's it about? Curse Horizon Dawn's already out. Watch that <laughs> it's about, like, um. Like. This is a night our people will remember. Oh, Jesse Williams! 
Do you remember Heavy Rain? Yeah. It's probably the people who made Heavy Rain, so very much a story kind of like... Well, similar like game to that. Yeah, the story is about like synthetic humans living with real humans and whatnot. Ghost in the Shell? No, I think more Blade Runner if you've seen Blade Runner. Jesse Williams, big actor, he's on Grey's Anatomy. Jesse! Yeah, he's known for having very nice eyes. He had two different colored ones. Yeah. Does he actually have that in real life? I don't know. You're awake now. So yeah, it looked like it was gonna play a lot on like today's issues about race and everything like that, but through like humans versus like replicants versus zombies, <laughs> humans versus androids. We gotta go. What? We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late. If we stay here, we get shot. North. People need us alive. Nothing else we can. So like another Marcus, great. Marcus Parks. Things could have been different. People making out? Let's go. Oh no, that showed all the ways. The options, they could just stand there That's making out. That's sick! Pretend to be. Yeah. Oh my out. god, give me a fucking 2017 release date. And start buffering. <laughs> Stop the buffering. We are superior to them, but they are masters. That's not to change. It's like a good Telltale game. <laughs> And I like every preview we've seen, like that cop, like drone thing. We see new stuff every time, like new features I'm in the game. Oh fuck yeah, bro! Oh, cracking open a cold one. Can't wait till we watch this five years later, and you guys won't even remember what that meme is. At My all. name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes. Take back my it makes sense because last year he, he was a big race to. rights advocate and he made a now big I speech about culture corporation and everything, so it makes sense. Your own masters. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! I'll follow you, Marcus! Marcus! Then follow me! Come on. It's not for being our masters. Police report that pro android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyberlife stores. Given the facts, it's pretty clear these attacks are linked to the DVM video message. Why are they putting the Ubisoft logo all over the place? That is graffiti, like, you get that away! <laughs> oh, that's sick. Come on. Yeah, I want a game like this where I can fucking if I want to kill someone, I can choose to kill someone and be an asshole. Like I like my classic Nights of Republic. I want my choices to matter. I think we're gonna date. This is a pretty big trailer. Well, Days Gone was a gameplay. Yeah, yeah, true. You would have thought that there would have been. No, no, true. And these are all... No, it has, I, has to be. These are all the characters they showed in the different... That girl was from the very first trailer. That caught was from last year. And this is another one. It's, Heavy Rain was following multiple characters. One of the only PS3 games I played to its full. I borrowed someone's PlayStation. <laughs> See, those are all the different ways it could have happened. My name is Marcus. I am one of them. This is our story. Become a human. She's crying. Are you fucking kidding me? God oh, damn it. I'm so pissed.
Fun. Destiny, Destiny 2. Destiny 2. Uh, I'm really getting bummed about these no release dates. I actually thought they dropped one because that was a lot Just, of yeah. content. Yeah, there is a lot of endings to Heavy Rain. Right, so they're gonna flatten them in. But right, there's like 40 different endings. That's what I love in a game, and that's why I want Detroit right now. And now I feel like it's gonna be a long ways away. I just feel like, I don't know. I'm fine with the big announcement trailers like last year, but if they follow up, then I expect a release date, or then don't show it to me, you know? Then like, just wait until it's ready to go. Because now it's like, I don't want to get to that point where you'll over anticipate the game and then not care eventually once it comes out, you know? I'll care always about Detroit, but like, Days Gone. Uh, I don't know. That's just, you know, that's just funny. Destiny 1.5. Oh, you said it, not me. I'm gonna trigger somebody. Oh, fuck this fly. Like, get out of here. He's waiting for that uh, release date for Detroit. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be here for a long time. <laughs> Flies don't have that kind of lifespan. So. Oh, okay. That's why he came to our uh, conference review here. Oh, no, I don't care about that fucking release date. Look at all those Destiny fans. It's exclusive Destiny 2 closer, baby! What's a strike? You got me? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't play long enough to know. If anyone in the live chat knows what a strike is in Destiny, hit us up. <laughs> me and Taylor had the game for a month and we returned it. The ultimate Destiny 2 experience. Good for them. Please welcome back to the stage, Sean Layden. Well, they might keep it to an hour, and it's almost an hour. They might what? Well, if they keep it to an hour, it's almost been an hour, so... Like everybody just breathe. Yes. <laughs> that was quite the roller coaster ride for the last 60 minutes. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. The future is here and it is now with PlayStation 4 Pro and PSVR. We could not be more excited than to kick off E3 2017, celebrating the content and the creators who make PlayStation the best place to play for gamers. A lot of people are hoping a Splinter now, Cell would drop with uh, Sony's conference. Let me leave conference. you with a true PlayStation exclusive, a true exclusive from PlayStation, from one of the industry's most respected developers. Probably Last of Us. Let me thank you again for or coming tonight. Um, a shout out to my courageous friend Rodil Meta for struggling on through. We were made infamous. And now, everyone, please enjoy the ride. Camera. Do you think like another like a, a new IP from them or another a new IP game? from Infamous? I think it'd be a new IP. Spidey. That would fix everything if they could announce a Spider-Man release date. All units, all units. Ten 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 that score sounds like Spider-Man. I think it's Spider-Man. But it's just, just another cock tease. Yeah, it is. Fisk, can you see that? This is cool, but is this just another cock tease trailer? They don't drop that release date. Well, this is my thing. Like, it's great to see all this, and I get it. That's fine, but like, I, we'll get into that after, I guess. I'm not mad. I'm seeing this. I'm just... The demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got that? Tough. I got this. Oh, this is gonna be actual gameplay. Oh, here we go. Look at that fucking <laughs> HUD and everything. That fucking HUD. This looks like the Spider-Man game I want. Oh, perch! Look at that. You can just easily perch. <laughs> Look at that. You can just easily perch. <laughs> That's a bitch sometimes, you know. Perch it. Perch takedown. Purchase that one, baby. Oh my Let god. Let me purchase this game. <laughs> Let me purchase the game. Ah, you get it? That was good. Oh, what's this? Cool. Oh, there's more. This is fucking sick. Interact with the world. Okay. <laughs> You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door. <laughs> you get your rent when you fix this damn door. You don't need to kill us, 
Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Oh my god! <gasps> the flag. Come on, let's go, let's go! Enough of buffering, enough of buffering. Kyle's gonna need to wear pants here. your release here date when you fix this day. <laughs> <laughs> look at that fucking! Oh my god! Look at that gameplay! Oh boy! Oh boy, my! Oh! Oh my! Geez. Squirt! Oh! Squirt. You see that? And he put him on his wall. Nice catch. Mary? Hey, Willie. I don't think it's his one. You. It's a nice Fist. jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive. Maybe I'll kill them. Oh, so we're going with that mysterious villain for the demons. Someone not comic book related, probably. Think so? Back, like, it could be, back, but like, they won't That's reveal that today, until the end. But I can see them making a new villain, why not, you know? Oh my god. Oh, off the building? Okay, he saves him. He saves him. <laughs> I think you probably could, though. Like, Jesus want. Christ, that was fucking brutal. Yeah, I wonder if you can in the game. I bet you can. You murder people? Yeah, that just looks like this. <laughs> it's Shocker. Shock. <laughs> Shock pin. Shock pin. Man. Man, this buffering is really getting my goose. He's getting the goose. Oh, this guy doesn't care about fucking web. Oh, wolf. That's actually really cool. Oh, look at that Spidey sense. Oh, I love the way he moves. Like, this reminds me very much of Arkham, how they nailed the movements Fisk, of Batman down. Your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? You're about to find out. Oh. Take the roof. Go to the roof, Spidey. Oh! He just fucking ran up that roof. Oh, one of those lightsabers that they had from Force Awakens is blocker ones. Shocker? No, it's not shocker. Electro? No. I, I think they could honestly go for a made-up villain. I don't recognize this villain unless it is a weird version of Electro, but... Good old Electro. <laughs> They're always making weird versions of him. Iron Man saves him? Oh. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> Taking mad. your suit away. Yeah, yeah. You're nothing without this suit. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh! Cream! Oh. Look at that. That's so fucking cool. Wow. So he doesn't run out of pods. What? Web pods? I don't know if he. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like this is a game that like really encapsulates being Spider-Man. You know, like the way he's running on that skyscraper and the walls. Like he. Oh. Osborne for mayor. Osborne for mayor. Yeah. He becomes president at some point. This looks great. It looks so good. Always gonna use the momentum. All oh, the buffering. 
God damn it. Love me some buffering. I don't know. It's... No, I think it's a little far behind on the Twitch stream. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we'll refresh that. Oh my god. That's so cool. Ah, press it, press it, floors! Why are you doing this? Because no one else will! Ah. Oh. This is crazy to you! You don't know me! This game's gonna make so much fucking money. Oh my god. Oh, oh! Ah! So if you miss that, they just all die. Yeah. Thanks. The roadkill. <laughs> Homie roadkill. Yeah, more points. <laughs> Come on, let's Great demo. Mr. Lee? Oh. Twenty eighteen, okay. Got a date for it? Okay. I'm happy with that. I didn't uh I, yeah, I guess. I guess next year makes sense. That should be alright, this will be the montage, yeah. One would think, yeah. Okay, well we got a day for Spider-Man, I'm happy, next year. I bet, I mean, there's always a chance it could be, get delayed, but I bet, uh, I bet fall, I think fall. Probably if this is coming out in your room. Yeah. So you know what, I'm happy. I would have been really happy if they would announce right now, but I'm happy they released they released the day four. Good music. Great. It's copyrighted right now. I'm sorry, if this was just dance, like, I'd be way more out for it. Monster they love using that clip. Fuck you, that's CRT again, are you serious? <laughs> they love showing that. Give a live chat, what do you think about the conference overall? Let us know. We're going to be here for like two more minutes and then we're going to stop the stream and then we're going to go do a review, our breakdown of it, talk each game by each game. We're even going to, after we're going to do the conference first, after we're going to talk about the pre-show, which really all together, the pre-show and this, tons of stuff announced. So, huge conference. Yeah, all right. That's good! So what's that? That's Mar uh, Miles Morales. That's the guy that becomes Spider-Man after Peter Parker. Oh. Yeah. Miles. <laughs> like one guy. Yeah, it's so... <laughs> that shot! Alright, Peter. 
and that was the PlayStation E3 showcase here in the Shrine Auditorium in downtown <laughs> LA. Really spectacular show here. Man. I wish everyone could be here. All right, folks, we will be back in five minutes. But nonetheless, a lot all right, talk about all that. Should be an interesting cast. Oh yeah. Huge update on Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. God of War.